Alright, so here we are. Sorry about the long wait. I'm, I mean, I really, I am sorry. Um, hopefully I can get this up um, sometime on Tuesday if YouTube isn't monstrously slow. So this is the next part of the tutorial for creating custom Sims 2 poses and animations. This part is going to deal with SimPE and creating the initial import package. These steps are actually pretty fast and simple. So you gotta go to File, New first. You're gonna see all res pop up under the resource tree, right? Okay, now that you've done that, now you come over to Resource List and you right click and you select Add, okay? And it's going to ask for you to find your animation file. Uh, I usually have to go down and go to all files, otherwise it won't show up. Because it might, you know, just show certain kind. But right now we're looking for name.5an. So choose that. Name. Yeah. Alright, now that we have name selected... You should see user defined under resource tree. This is good. So now that you've done that, click on the user defined under resource list and then go all the way down to the bottom tabs here. Find the bottom resource tab. All right, so right here, we're at the bottom resource tab uh, while this was selected. Now you're gonna have to change some things here. The first thing we'll going to do is we're going to set the type as animation resource. This is type right here, this very top thing. So you go to this right here, you scroll through your selections, um, you find animation resource. It should be right up there at the top, alphabetical order and all that. Okay, and now you're going to set your group as 0 by 1 capital C 0, 5, 3, 2, capital F, capital A. Okay. Once you've done that, you've done all you need to do in, under the resource tab for this, so you're going to press commit. Uh, new information will come up under group, under the resource list. That's good. All right. So now you're going to go to your bottom plugin view tab. So over here, the very far left, right there. Uh, select up here again, cause just to make sure it all pops up. Now that you're on your plugin view tab, you want to go ahead and copy your file name. Except for the little uh, line anim part, don't copy that. Actually this step, you don't have to copy anything. What you need to do is write down or remember this section, the name of the file you have for later. Because you're going to have to paste this later. But you don't actually have to copy this. You could just remember it and manually type it in later. But mine is uh, name, capital N-A-M-E. If you want to copy it, uh, you're just going to press control C. All right, so now it's copied. And um, you're going to click on fix TGI over on the far right. Go ahead and click it. That's good. Uh, new info will pop up under your instance high category. That's all right. You shouldn't worry about that. Again, any changes made up here where you, you know you're messing around down here, that's totally fine. That's supposed to happen. Okay, so you click commit, click OK, and now we can move on to the next step, which will be file save as. This right here is going to save your um, import package. Leave it as a DVPF package. You don't want to change it to something weird. Um, that's It's totally fine like that. So I'm going to save mine as name line import. I misspelled import. All right, name slash import. When I say slash, I mean this little line thing here. I don't actually know the proper term for that, but that's okay. Um, and again, here you cannot use spaces. Uh, if you wanted to, I suppose you could just, you know, squish this all into one, right? Just this name import and no line, but don't worry about that. Uh, now we're going to uh, save it. 
and that takes care of that right there. So basically what you just did in uh, these few steps is you imported your base animation from Milkshape into SimPE into a recognizable file that you can incorporate into an actual object that can be put into the Sims later. So basically this was just a way to literally import the animation into SimPE in a recognizable format. So this part isn't shouldn't be hard at all. Um, you shouldn't have any trouble with this. It's actually the shortest part of SimPE. Right. So um, I will move on to the next part, which uh, is creating the object. So now that we've saved it, uh, you can just uh, either move on to the next steps, which I'm about to show you, or you could close that and leave this for another day because right now you have your import animation saved. I saved mine just in my documents. Uh, later you're going to have to put this in the Sims 2 downloads folder. We'll discuss that at the very end of this uh, tutorial. So, moving on to the next uh, steps, we're going to be creating the object. So, while we're still in SimP, we're going to click on File, then New, just like we did in the beginning for creating the import package. So again, we're all blank except for all res. That's okay. Now we're going to click on Object Workshop. Yes. This part gave me a lot of trouble for a little while because um, it would pop up as a separate screen behind everything. And I thought it was actually broken and it wasn't showing up. But it was. It would just show up in the very back. And it may take it a while to load, but that's because it's actually trying to process all of your objects, so that's okay. As soon as this loads, as we're going to see under our list, right here, this really long list, we're going to go to unknown. Yep, unknown. Then we're going to try and find Paul's reaction test object, uh, cached. So go all the way down to P. I, you can click P on your keyboard to try and get there, but it doesn't work on mine, so I can't ever do that. Try JK, lemon, no P, come on. Paul's reaction test object, cached. Uh, it'll have a code behind it 0x7f8a3d57. Just to ensure that's the exact one. You don't want Paul's trigger handler test object that is not the same thing or any message test object. It must be Paul's reaction test object. Okay, so now that we have this selected, we're going to uh, click on next up here. Uh, all right, the task is clone. That's what you need because you're actually you're cloning this object and your uh, clone settings should all be ticked on. They should all have little check marks in them except the last two, which is reference original mesh and change description. Not sure why, just leave it that way. Um, after that, we click start. No more next, just start. Give it a second. It'll pop up with this new thing right here. This right here, we're going to completely delete all of the stuff in there, and I'm going to name it Name Hackbox. And then I'm going to click Update. So now we're going to click OK. And now we have this where we're going to save it once again. This right here, I'll explain this in a second after I name it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to name it, and I'm going to name this Name Mine uh, Hack. No hack box, just hack. Save it as a DBPF package. You just click Save. Now this huge list pops up. That's okay. All right? So, um, let me tell you what that was that I just did there. What we have now is we have the one file that is um, basically your uh, animation import file, right? Then we have our second file that we just made, which is basically you could pretend it's the container, the box, the package that it's going to... Um, 
be attached to that allows it to pop up on screen. What we just did there is we just cloned Paul's Reaction Tester, which is something you can view through using the bullprop, Testing Cheats Enabled Cheat. And uh, this is just creating an object right here. So you must have the object and you must have the animation file. They're two separate things, but they get linked together because without, you know, one or the other, it doesn't work. Okay, so now that we have this list, we're going to find text lists. Text lists. Now, if you cannot see this, um, I'm sorry, but as I'm talking you through, you should be able to see approximately where my mouse is moving on screen, and uh, just by that, it should make enough sense. So the first thing we're going to find is text lists, and we're going to be deleting things. Yeah. So we're going to delete make action dialog attributes. Uh, mine are all nice and neat next to each other, so I select them all, right click, and then press delete. They all get crossed off. In some versions they disappear, but in my version of SimPE they just go gray and get crossed off. So I can still see them, but they're deleted. They're really not there anymore. Now the only things we have left are object, model name, and Adam's adult. These will come into play later, but not quite yet. So we're going to go to uh, Pi Menu Strings in this long list under Resource Tree. Uh, right here going to click on Pi Menu Strings under Resource List to the right, so it's selected. Uh, we're going to find the uh, Plugin View tab on the very bottom. Uh, once we've got that clicked, we're looking at stuff. More deleting. So we're going to delete everything except for Set Flags right here. And the way we're going to do this is I uh, like to scroll down this list, select the very bottom one first right and then press delete 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 over and over and over and over again all of them every single one except for set flags right there you don't want to delete set flags um, we're going to be using this later too um, alright next step default lang only must be clicked so we click on that and that does that uh, now we hit commit all the way over here, commit file. That's good. Now that that's committed, we go to Pi Menu Functions. This is going to be right above Pi Menu Strings under Resource Tree. Going to click on Reaction Test Interaction Table under Resource List so that it's selected. All right. Again, we're going to delete everything except for set flags. At the moment, my set flags is selected, so you don't want to press delete. Go to the bottom one, make sure that one is in the blue first before you press any delete buttons. Now you can delete, 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 delete. Okay, that's done. Now you only have set flags left and we can hit commit. Commit file, we're good. Next step, we're going to go to behavior function. Behavior function under resource tree. So here we have uh, more deleting, and we're going to delete everything right here under the resource list except for function main and function init. So uh, these are right down here, you can see, but I'm going to have to select all these. Right click, delete, uh, i do delete. That leaves me with function main, function init. You must have these. Do not delete these. Go to object data. Object data under resource tree. Click on reaction test under resource list. This part, we actually uh, get to do something a little more fun than deleting. Uh, we get to decide where our object's ultimately going to show up. Uh, as a rule of thumb, I usually like to stick to just uh, study hobbies, and this this is how Broken Emo Angel likes to do it. Actually, it's how most everyone does it. Uh, so go under study hobbies, overall sort, hobbies, miscellaneous. Um, see, now you could do this totally different if you had a thousand pose boxes, but you wanted to see yours separated out. So you could throw yours like under bathroom or something. That way you could find them easier in the swarm of other pose boxes, but 
I don't have that many. Most of mine are my own. So, I'm okay with just throwing them in study hobbies, miscellaneous, and whatever. Okay, so now that we've done that, we are going to click Get Guide. This is going to pop up. It's got name, password, email, whatever. I didn't add an email, and um, but I, I do have, you must have your name and your password. Uh, mine remembers it every time. So we're going to rename the object name. Um, I'm going to rename it uh, name box. This is one of the few instances where you don't have to have lines between the separate letters and you may use spaces. So um, you can go to town with that with as many uh, space bar punches as you want. So now I'm going to click register object. Then we're going to hit commit. You want to make sure you commit everything after that. Um, all right. Going to go to text lists again under resource tree. We're going to click on Adam's adult. Now what we're going to do is paste what we had copied or you know remembered from earlier in the import package into the second box down. This would be this one right here, the one that says uh, string 0x0000 zero 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 zero, uh, on top of it. It's uh, the string box, okay? It'll see, say string to the left. Um, and we're going to go control V. Alright? Uh, now we're going to click commit file. And I'm going to have to cut this because I'm running out of memory. But we'll move on from this exact point.